How's it going guys and welcome to my very first episode of my 25 days of Christmas marathon. Alright, so today I'm going to be reviewing a film. Um, I just recently bought this and I decided to review it for you guys for uh, Christmas and um, it's called Santa's Slay and um, it's a very low budget, um, I want to call it a comedy horror film about a killer Santa Claus. Now to get into more detail with this story, um, it takes place a thousand years before um, present day and um, basically what happens is there's a demon who is supposedly the devil's son but it never really quite says but um, it's a demon who loses a bet to an angel and the demon is forced to live as a man who brings all this joy and happiness to people on earth which is Santa Claus and but that was a thousand years ago and his bet has now passed which means he's back to his evil self and he's now doing evil stuff around earth He's not that happy Santa Claus anymore where he brings joy and presence to the world. He's now an evil, like, looking guy and he's killing people left and right. And, um, it is very ridiculous and that's why I like about it. It's because it's just over the top, you know? And, um, this movie is also very funny. It has some very funny parts in it. Um, it is a comedy horror, you know? It's a horror film because it's, you know, like, the whole plot and how he kills people. But, um, you know, and then he, it's also a comedy because it's just... It's laughable and it's ridiculous, but it's not so bad that it's laughable that it it doesn't take itself seriously at all. Um, you know, it's it's meant for laughs. It's a comedy. But then you have these two characters, which is a boy and a girl, and um, you know, and, and then it has like a little subplot where the boy likes the girl or the girl likes the boy. You know, whichever it doesn't really matter. But um, and they try to stop Santa Claus from killing all these people, and so you know, it follows them, and uh, Santa's going after them especially because they're trying to stop him. It's a very interesting story, and um, it's, I don't want to call it bloody or gory, but it's definitely very, um, I want to say creative with its violence and kills, but um, yeah guys, this is a very ridiculous movie, very kind of stupid, but I loved it, personally, um, definitely one of my favorite Christmas related horror movies, I gotta say, this is a really good one. This is definitely one of those movies where you have to like gather a bunch of friends like on a Friday night or whatnot and uh, just watch it and laugh at it all the way through. It's one of those movies, you know, where you have to watch with a group of people. But yeah, guys, so overall, I'd probably give Santa Slay three and a half snowmen out of five. I really did enjoy this film. It is very great, and I do highly suggest you guys to get this if you don't have it, especially if, you are, if you're a collector. If you don't have this in, coll in your uh, Christmas collection, this needs to be in it, horror fan or not, because it's a great film. And um, I got it at FYE for about five bucks, so um, definitely if you could find it for a price that cheap, definitely pick it up. It's worth it. Alright guys, thank you for watching this review. Stay tuned for my next reviews, and I will see you guys later.